Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I got delivery notification, but I did have a goals call with my boss, so I had to sit there and get through the call before I could leave to go pick up the camera and the lens. I'll be back, Eddie. So I'm gonna do things threefold. One, I'm gonna record with the Insta360 so that uh, I kind of bring you along with me throughout the stages of this. Two, I'm filming on the ZV-1 overhead when I do the unboxing and, and putting everything together. And then I'm going to eventually put one last little bit in there once I get the camera all set up and, and uh, you know, I take a quick video with it just so that you can see it and that I can see it and I can play. So that's kind of where we're going. So I'm on the way to the UPS store right now to pick up the package and we'll go from there. Okay, kids, we're back and I got this big ass box. Oof, stoof. Alrighty. Sony A7C, and here's the 16 to 35. And now here's all that extra shit that they threw in that I don't need. Yet another camera bag to go into the closet of camera bags that I have and don't use, because I don't use that kind of shit. Now this I probably will use. This is a uh, Koa battery charger, and it has two additional batteries, another old useless card it's a 64 gigabyte um ultra which you know for the shit that i do that's not going to do anything so all right let's set that aside and now we will open the camera drum roll is it going to be silver or is it going to be black because i called thinking that i inadvertently ordered black and they told me i ordered silver all right so you know all the usual shit there's that the straps that i never use Another battery that we'll keep out because that's going to have to be charged right away. All right. Da -da 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 Bang! It's the silver one. Yay! Now let's look it over and make sure that it isn't used. No obvious gouges. Okay, so here's the camera. Very nice. Everything works. Screen's not all messed up, because we're going to have to do that first. Put that on there. All right, I'm going to put this on the charger. Here's the 16 to 35 F4. Beast! It's a beast! So, there it is, in all its glory. All right, looks good. Does not look like it's been used. Now, unfortunately, I did not get the free well filter yet. So I guess I'll just have to wait. But in the meantime, let's put a screen protector on this bitch. All right, wipe first, then dry, and then Tap it. Let it work its magic. Oh, shit. And see, right off the bat, there's so much frickin' dust, the minute I peeled that sticker, it was like a turn on an electromagnet. Try it again. Touch it. Wow. Perfect adhesion. All right, then I just use this thing, the dry wipe again, just to push it down and to make sure. Now, I'm actually shocked that I got all the dust off the other side, at least to my naked eye, and that's good enough for me. Okay, screen protected. For the moment, I do have uh, an older I think this is like a Best Buy 72 millimeter UV, just so that I have some level of protection on here. All the dust was on the other side. So at this point, I think we're good to go. The last thing I wanna do is get any freaking dust on this sensor. It says my place is so dusty. 
Okay, there we go. There it is, baby. But, I did that stupidly, bass backwards, because now I need to put it on the cage. So we got our cage here. So this is one of those things where you gotta, you gotta pop all this shit off of here. So what I'm doing is I'm taking off those uh, little hooky doodle things here on the side that allow you to connect a strap. But since I don't use this camera in that way, and I always put the little Peak Design hook tabs on the, the cage, I remove these things because all they do is make noise. All right, now you just slide this forward. Okay, tight, it's in there. Now we do the bottom. It comes with its own little screwdriver of sorts. Magnetizes back under there. We're good to go there. That's a nice tight fit. Now it gives room for your pinky if you need it. Next is the Peak Design standard plate, which I obviously put on everything. And that will just go over here. Give it a good twist and that sucker's on there. All right. Then the next thing is the handle. And the handle lines up with the Ari holes. Then you just twist that down and then I like to take the little thing here, put it in the, the hole on the side, and just give it a little tweak. And there we go. All right, so check it out. And here you can see it. Ooh, ah. Uh, all right, we got our Movo VXR10 microphone. I'm pretty excited. All right, now what we gotta do is Get the buttons all situated here. Da, 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 da. Okay, so now I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna play with all these settings and get this thing set up exactly how I want. I am gonna be using the Sony Bluetooth grip. So I will get that paired up to it as well. As you can see, I have the small rig Orca adapter so that all my stuff seamlessly goes between every device that I have. Here is the new filming setup. Full frame Sony A7C with the Sony Zeiss 16 to 35 F4 OSS. And yeah, I'm totally stoked. Now I got the Movo VXR10 microphone, like I said, and I've got a small rig top handle, a Yulanzi UU rig cage, which, you know, it doesn't sit up that high. And I've got it on the Sony Bluetooth grip. So I am all set. I'm gonna go out and play and get some film. I'll be right back. Okay, so right now I have this sitting on the center console. It is going to be way too big with all that shit on the top to sit on the dashboard mount, the center dashboard mount. Plus, eh, I don't know. Now that it's starting to get hot as balls out, I don't trust that that's going to hold this rig. I do not want to go around a corner and have this freaking thing go tumbling, which I have had happen before. So I think it's going to stay on this, this center column here. We're going to have to deal with the window blowing things out. But I mean, I actually don't look that bad. Yes, it's kind of bright there, but it's kind of going into the sun. So I think we're going to be okay. All right. I am totally excited. This camera is awesome. It feels great. It looks fantastic. Totally digging that silver retro look like everybody else says. And uh, whilst I'm sitting here watching myself on the on the screen here again i'm not thrilled with a flip out screen but you know i can deal with it so yeah it's had i auto focus on me since i turned it on it's going it's, it's totally gone and perfect and i look great and i like the colors with that standard that i picked i'm not doing a picture profile i'm not grading and like i said no fake s cinetone all is well all is fantastic i couldn't be more excited about this 
and hopefully you'll start seeing some changes in my in my videos hopefully for the better i always welcome your suggestions and comments so keep them up but that's pretty much all i got for you today i'm just going to go out and play now so as always thanks for joining me like subscribe and all that shit and remember kids forward and up